it was a, a hobby. Well, at first it started as a bad hobby because uh, I used to get time out for drawing because my parents didn't like this for me. I never thought that I could bring me someplace like this place. But uh, little did I know, I find that it was, it was a very great opening for me. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. You see, this right here can happen to any one of us. We may get battered, we may get bruised, but understand this, we will not lose. Tragedy affects all of our lives. However, for it is out of the ashes, the phoenix shall rise. Thank you. We want to keep them pr producing and productive and focused on art rather than on the death that's around them. So we suggested that they go out and each pick up a piece of rubble, and you see some of that here. Some of them didn't really want to touch it. A lot of them didn't touch the big chunks of concrete that they told me were concrete that could have killed people. So that you'll notice most of the pieces they chose were small, little tile, little glass. And then they came back in and they each wrote a story. The little ones told their story and then they were asked to make a painting about the earthquake and about that particular piece. And um, it was very healing for them.